Hello, I uh, wanted to give a quick uh, demo of electric guitar audio and uh, what it looks like on an oscilloscope. It's uh, an alternating current in that uh, it goes uh, positive to negative voltage as the string vibrates. As the string moves one way, you get a positive voltage. As the string moves the other direction, it goes negative. So here's uh, the low E. So when the, when the wave is high, that's a positive voltage. As the wave comes low, that's actually a negative voltage. And the current actually does alternate. The current runs one direction and then reverses and comes back and forth. So the, the electrons are actually moving back and forth through the guitar and the amplifier circuit. Here's a low E again. And down on the bottom you see the frequency readout showing about 83 hertz. And then also the peak to peak voltage is shown down there on the bottom also. Okay, here's the high E. Notice the wave spacing, nice and tight. That means a higher frequency, which uh, relates to a, a higher pitch. Low E. See it decay into a nice looking sine wave. High E. Okay, now I'll combine the two. I'll hit the uh, low E first and then superimpose the high E on top, creating a composite wave. See, the shape of the low E is still there, and the high E is basically written right on top of it. And that's how uh, the uh, multiple sounds are translated into voltage for your amplifier. I'm going to get rid of the uh, measurements here for a cleaner look. I'll strum all the strings. That's a composite wave, all of them moving together. Start with a high E and then add the low E. Okay, that's it. Just want to give you a look at what uh, guitar, electric guitar audio looks like and help you understand what your amplifier is doing with it.